Well, hello, and thank you so much for joining me on this, uh, this momentous occasion within the world of uh, Vionic Europe, because this is our first ever official Vionic TV Facebook Live. Um, if you're uh, watching for the first time, or maybe you're, you're seeing me for the first time, you don't know who I am, my name's Keith, Keith Maynard, uh, and it's, it's great to be chatting to you from the comfort of my own, my own living room. Uh, in these in these times, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. Everyone's working from home, or the majority of us are working from home, and it's it's just a wonderful opportunity. So again, I'm, I'm Keith. I, I represent Vionic. I'm officially called, I suppose you call it, the European Ambassador uh, for Vionic Shoes, which means a whole host of different things. But essentially, uh, what it does mean is I've been involved with Vionic for about five years. I love the brand. I love hearing your stories uh, about the brand and about how it's really helped you, uh, not just with comfort, but also with alignment and a whole host of different issues that many people have, or just because you like stylish shoes um, which look good and also feel good. So a warm welcome. I do hope that you're all, you're all well, and wherever you're watching from across the UK, that you're, that you're all safe and well. I really, really do, uh, and trust that you're, um, you know, you're keeping, keeping your sanity through this, through this time and, and, and really um, you know, and able to uh, be with your, your, your family or friends, or at least in contact with them on, on a regular occasion. So today really is an opportunity for me to chat to you, for me to answer your questions. Thank you so much, let me say first of all, because there's been a whole load of different questions that we, that, that we received when we said that we were going to be doing this. And I've got to be honest, I'm not going to have a chance to actually answer all of the questions today. Uh, so there will be hopefully other episodes of, of Varnick TV in, in the future. And if I don't get a chance to actually answer your, your, your questions today, then rest assured, I will get to them. And the other thing as well is if you have questions while you're watching, there's something you want to know, be it about Vionic, um, about myself, whatever, please, please do get in touch. I'll be more than happy to do my best to get to it and answer it. And if you do ask a question today, actually, a little incentive for you. This is, this is nice. By the way, my hair, I'm, I'm doing my best with it. I've not had a haircut now for about seven weeks and it's... Uh, it's becoming a little bit bouffon. So with the help of a lot of gel, it's trying to keep in place. But if it suddenly goes and explodes, I apologize. Apparently my wife tells me I've got a very hairy neck. So I'm gonna do my best not to show that to you because no one needs that on a Saturday morning. So um, there is a little incentive for you here, and that is if you do ask questions live and, you know, and type in just underneath, then we have these wonderful shoe care kits that we've recently developed, which I've been waiting for. I've been so excited about this because they've had these over in the US for about uh, two, two and a half years now, these Varnick shoe care kits. And finally, we've got our hands on some. Uh, they're available on the website, but we're also gonna be giving them away randomly throughout the course of this Facebook Live. Uh, and all you need to do to be considered to actually uh, win one of these is A, watching, which hopefully you're doing now, watching live, and B, ask a question during the live interaction. So please do get involved. These are really, really good because you get all, you get a cleaner and conditioner, you get the rain and stain, and you get one of our refreshers and a little brush as well. And it's really giftable because it's in this lovely presentation box. In fact, I've done a video about how to use these products, which if you have a look on the Varnick Shoes UK Facebook page, which you're on now watching this, then you'll see there's a, there's a video about how to look after your Varnicks using this. So get asking questions. Now, um, the other thing I need to say is I'm, uh, you will see me sipping from my, my, uh, my, my coffee. I don't know about you, but there's been little things at the moment that are really uh, helping me continue. And one of the things is good coffee. I've always been a bit of coffee. So this morning I'm, I'm having a, a mixture of Peruvian and uh, an Ethiopian coffee. Now I've got some questions over here on my computer. I'm gonna uh, double check to see where we're gonna start with, because again, thank you for all those questions. Uh, the first question that we got, which was, which was a great one, which was from Helen Wright. So Helen, thank you so much for asking that. Uh, and it's, uh, what's the secret to designing fashion-friendly shoes that are also good for your feet? And you know what, it, it, it's a great question because it talks about the heart of what we do at Vionic. Um, and Vionic, just in case you don't know, been around since 1979. So, wow, how are we? we're over 40 years old now, which is you know, quite, quite a while. And we basically were designed by a podiatrist. 
And that's, that's the key difference. The key difference to making fashion-friendly shoes that are also comfortable and good for you is who designs it. Uh, not just somebody who wants it to look good, but somebody who wants it to feel good, somebody who understands that the body, our bodies, need a unique support and that we don't tend to get that in the modern world because we've built these wonderful flat surfaces. So um, that, that, wonderful, that wonderful comfort and support you get from Bionic um, all comes from that podiatry background. So Helen, thank you very much for that excellent question. It's a sip of coffee time. Um, now, to actually illustrate this a bit better, I have roped in some of my family. <laughs> now, I'm very lucky. I don't know if you've if you've watched if you've ever watched me when I'm I'm doing any of this stuff on on, uh, on maybe QVC or any of our other partners or um, some of the videos. You may well have heard me talk about the fact that um, I live down in sunny Whitstable, which is where I'm chatting to you from. Which, for those of you who don't know Whitstable, it's in Kent. It's basically Canterbury on Sea, and I live with a wonderful family. I've got three gorgeous daughters. Uh, and my beautiful wife, of course, my word, I should have put that in the other order, shouldn't I? Well, my beautiful wife and my three gorgeous daughters. And then we've also got a fur family, so two cats, three dogs, all of whom are poodles. So I'm surrounded by a lot of pheromones. However, I do have two male poodles. That was what I insisted on. So uh, they're not going to make an appearance on this particular video, I hope. They've, uh, they've been well secured, otherwise they can cause chaos. But that I am going to use uh, two of my wonderful daughters to kind of illustrate the technology, to illustrate uh, what Vionic do so differently, what Vionic do so well, um, which of course is, is that, that wonderful message which comes from the heart of where we started with Phil Vasily, who was a podiatrist back in 1979. So I just want to talk, I just want to show you the difference about how Vionic can really help realign you, how the three zone comfort can really help to realign your knees, your back and your feet. Now I'm going to use their assistance. So first of all, I'm going to unhook this. Here we go. This has been practiced, but um, it can always go wrong live. Hopefully that was relatively smooth. Um, and I'm just going to turn the camera the other way. So now you can see the legs of my oldest, Alessia, already set up. And now I'm going to pass you into the delicate hands of my youngest, Jessica, who is actually going to be nine years old very, very soon. She's very excited. It's got to the point where she's counting down the days um, and she's going to have a, a, a lockdown birthday. So over here now with Alessia, I just want to talk to you. Are we all good, Jess? Can you? Yeah, yeah we're all good. Thank you. OK, I, I, you, everyone can see me and they can see Alessia, can they? Excellent news, right. So here we are. I'm here with Alessia. As you can see, she's been very, very willing to let me draw on her leg. What, they, what these girls go through is, is you know, is, is terrible. And you could just see here, this, this, like, this line I've drawn is wonky. And that's essentially because she's standing on this hard, flat, man-made surface. And we're not designed to do that. We've built them in our homes. We've built them all around our towns. But we're not designed to walk on them. We're designed to walk on soil and on sand barefoot which supports our foot and supports the arches and the curves of our feet because our feet actually aren't flat. So there you can see that's, that's not great because it causes problems with alignment in the knee and also the hip and the feet and it leads to things like uh, plantar fasciitis and, uh, so, and exacerbates so many different issues. So here we go, I'm just gonna realign her. Now I've just realigned her. Hopefully you saw there, did, did they see Jess? Did they give me a nod Jess? Brilliant, you're doing a very good job. You can see now how lovely and straight that is. Uh, and that's because this is the neutral position. This is how Alessia's leg should look. And now the knee and the hip are also in the right position. But as soon as I let go, you can there see now, but with Alessia, this is, this is over pronation. It's only slight with Alessia, but it's enough to throw her knee and her hip out. It's enough to cause issues with her heels. And it's enough to cause issues, particularly later in life when, when things start to catch up with us. So again, neutral position, good because nice and aligned. Not so good because she's rolled in too much. So now I'm just gonna show you, these, these are lovely, one of our current slippers. This is the Relax Plush, it feels absolutely gorgeous. And I wanna show you the difference now, once Alessia's standing on that wonderful bed. So now you can see, she's standing on that bed there, and you can see how the three zone comfort has realigned everything. This is the Viomotion technology, which is straightening everything up. And it does it instantaneously. It doesn't take two or three minutes. Straight away, as soon as you're wearing it, it puts everything back in the right spot. And that now means the knee and the hip are in the right place as well. And this is for people of any age, any gender, literally over, nearly three quarters of us around the world suffer from overpronation, the rolling in, the collapsing in. And Vionics help to solve that and all the problems related to that. So if I just do that up, there we go. Thank you very much, Alessia. I'm now gonna come back over. Hopefully that makes it a, a bit clearer. This is the next bit now where I, I, I come around. Thanks, Jess, you've done a great job there. 
and uh, we reversed the camera. Hopefully that was smooth for you. <laughs> so girls, thank you very much. You are relieved from your duties. <laughs> We're gonna go on and crack on. We were uh, probably do a Joe Wicks workout and just see them pass in the background. But I'm very, very lucky to have their, have their support. So let's go back. Right, remember, if you're gonna ask a question during this Facebook Live, you uh, might randomly win yourself one of these shoe care kits, which are absolutely fantastic. One of the things in there is the rain and stain, which basically um, turns any of your suede or your new books into water repellent footwear. It's what we treat in the factory with all our boots. So it's a really useful thing to have. And the other one's like a leather cleaner and a footbed freshener. Uh, and if, you're, if your footbeds ever get like my, mine do when I've been wearing them for a season, that footbed freshener is, is, is really, really, really handy. Okay. So let's go to question number two. Alice, Alice Marsh asked this one. Um, thank you, Alice. I recognise, I recognise that, I recognise that name, Alice. I think you, uh, yeah, I think I've met you a couple of times. And um, Alice um, has said, that I suffer from plantar fasciitis. Which trainers would you recommend uh, for, oh, that's the, that's the one, sorry, I apologise, I can't read properly. This is, this is the thing, here we go, that wasn't Alice's question, this is Alice's question. So, if we're not wearing shoes as much during lockdown, do you have any tips to stop our feet from spreading? And it's a, it's a really, really, really good question, actually. Um, and essentially, tips without wearing Varnix? No, because essentially, you, you, this, is, this is the key, this is why it's so, so important. Um, when you're around the home, because we were around our homes a lot more at the moment, and traditionally what people do, and I see this all the time, I hear about this all the time with Varnik, is they've got a great pair of Varnix to wear for work, they've got a great pair of Varnix to work for the gym, they've got a pair of Varnix that they might just go out and see some friends with, but not everyone has a pair for around the house necessarily. Um, and it's really, really important that when you, whenever you're standing, that your feet are supported properly. So Alice, uh, my, my tip to help your feet stop spreading is essentially to make sure you've got Varnix on your feet um, as much as possible. We do have have loads of great slipper styles uh, and do check out the website varnixshoes.co.uk for you know for, for more information on that um, but this is uh, one of the ones that you saw a moment ago that Alessia was wearing uh, my wife loves these as well this is the relax it's like a four season slipper uh, and it's I call it a four season because essentially you know again you can wear it with socks in the winter if you want to or just barefoot in the summer it's gorgeous and plush and it's a really useful tool because it's got that via motion three zone comfort in it so the heel cup which gives you the um, stability and it's got the arch support here, which helps with the alignment and it's got basically cushioning throughout the sole. So that's my tip there for you, Alice, is, is really make sure you're wearing slippers. I know some people wear sandals in the summer as their slippers or, or maybe you, you wear a pair of our slip-ons. Um, whatever it is, it's just making sure you've got varnix on your feet, which is, which is really important. Don't forget though, answer your questions live uh, to me as well and you could be in for a chance to win. The foot care kid. Right, I'm going for the next one now. Okay, so uh, Kieran, Br uh, Kieran Bright has, uh, this, is, this is the one I incorrectly mentioned before. Give me a sip of coffee one sec. Mm. I suffer from plantar fasciitis. Which trainers would you recommend for everyday use? And also, would you recommend a larger size than normal? So first of all, Karen, I'm very sorry to hear that you suffer from plantar fasciitis. If for those of you listening who don't know what plantar fasciitis is, you, once you've had it, you'll know about it. People call it, they used to call it policeman's heel in the days when the police used to still walk the beat a lot more than, than they're allowed to do these days. Uh, now we know it as runner's heel. Um, basically it's, it's horrific. The plantar runs in, is the, basically a, runs under the foot and with overpronation, what happens is it gets stretched and inflamed, and most people feel it under their heel, but it also can stretch under the arch, um, and it's it's horrific. You you know it can stop you walking. It's 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 a really crippling pain, and it's very very common. You know the majority. In fact, one of the main uh, interesting facts, the number one reason people go to doctors in the Western world is for foot pain. Would you believe? There we go. Uh, and plantar fasciitis is a big part of that. Funnily enough, Bionic are the only brand currently in the world that have done the research and done the scientific research um, to actually prove that we help with plantar fasciitis. And that's because once you get that arch support under your, under your foot, it stops your foot rolling in, which stops the stretching of the plantar, which helps to bring relief. And that's how a lot of people find uh, the brand. I, I hear about it all the time um, with people actually, you know, having plantar fasciitis and then coming to Barnick. So um, basically, 
in answer to your question, Karen, because I do tend to waffle, so apologies for that, um, any of our trainers would work for you, um, any of our styles would work for you, sandals, because the, the technology, the realignment, that three zone comfort, that biomotion support is the same in all of our styles. However, I will make a recommendation for you. Um, and my recommendation is this, the honey, which is one of our wonderful styles at the moment for spring, summer 2020. I love this. I really, really love this. Two of the big trends at the moment in footwear are minimalism. Um, and in a sense, uh, the kind of old school chic. And this works on both those levels. So it's on one of our most popular um, outsoles, which is the Splendid, which has been around now for a number of years, got quite a few fans. Those of you that have had Varmix for years and maybe had the Tori boot, do you remember the Tori high top? Love that style. This is the same um, outsole and the same support under the foot, so you know what you're getting. It's in gorgeous leather. You've got that wonderful kind of perforated V, which is really cool, but not too much. Um, and you can just see everyone loves a pair of white trainers in their, in their wardrobe. So I would go for something like this, the Honey. Um, and it's got the removable footbed as well. So this happens with most of our styles. You can actually take that footbed out, which means you can use it for other shoes as well. So it's, it's really, really handy in that sense. So the Honey, I would say go for the Honey. That would be my recommendation. Um, it does also come in other colors, but for me, you need a bit of white footwear in your life over the summer, don't you? So that, that's a really, really good style. Um, as for sizing, Karen, because you said, you know, would you recommend going for a larger size than normal? No. Um, with Bionic, essentially stick to the size that you're normally, you normally, you know, you normally go with. Um, so if you're normally a four and a half, and we have a four and a half, go, go over four and a half. If you're normally a six and a half, go over six and a half. The only difference is that with our sandals, we tend to only do whole sizes. And in that case, then you would, you would size down. So if you're a five and a half, go for a five. Uh, if you're seven and a half, go for a seven. And that's, that's literally because uh, once you get that via motion support under the arch, um, it slightly shortens the foot. Um, I mean, Alice mentioned it in the last question about your foot spreading. And essentially that's what's happening when you over pronate, your foot spreads, it gets wider and it gets longer. It's why many people after that, well, ladies after they've had children, um, go up half a shoe size or a full shoe size. It's because they're, they're starting to overpronate with the extra weight they've had to carry. And they, they, they go up half a shoe size or a full sh shoe size as a result of that. Um, and that's why when you have that support from Varnik back under the arch, uh, your foot goes back. So go down half a size if you were the sandals and you are on the half size, so five and a half to a five. Otherwise stick, stick as you go. Right, I'm going to do a quick time check because I know I've been waffling. Blimey, neck, it's 18 minutes past 11 already and I'm only supposed to do half an hour, so I need to motor on. Don't forget, any questions you want to make live, um, then um, you might win one of these Varnic Shoe Care Kits, <laughs> which is a, a great thing to have. Okay, so, oh, this is a really good one. So this is this was via Instagram, so thank you. If you're not following us on Instagram, do, do, do have a check out Varnic Shoes on Instagram. There's loads of, you know, great, great offers, imagery, different things going on there. Um, a lot of our um, influence, influencers that do a fantastic job, and for those of our influencers that are watching and have got involved with this, thank you so much. We really, really appreciate your support. And there's a lot of um, influencer takeovers happening as well. Um, over the next season. So look out for those when they're gonna kind of take control of our social channels and, and post some amazing content. And we really, really appreciate that. So this was from Emma Sington via Instagram. And it's a question about what is the best heel height for pronated or flat feet? Now, it's a good question, the best heel height, because obviously we don't just do, this is the weird thing. Although Varnick shoes are originally designed by a podiatrist and we get podiatrist foot doctors, continuing to make sure that we are, in a sense, providing really, really great shoes because our shoes are also approved by the APMA, which is the American Podiatric Medical Association. Um, the thing is, we also do elevated shoes, which, which is strange because that's not traditionally something that gets linked with podiatry and with, and with kind of foot health. Everyone knows, although uh, heels are great to wear, although heels look fantastic, uh, and they really give you that wonderful sense of occasion um, that they're also very painful <laughs> and, and therefore probably not good for you to wear. The difference with Bionic is that we've, we've incorporated that style, giving you that feeling, but we've done it um, also providing you with some incredible, some incredible um, support. So what heel height, Emma? Um, I would, I mean, to be honest, the thing is, once you elevate the heel, and you can do this at home, wherever you are, you're watching now, if you go onto the balls of your feet, and then try and roll your feet in, you'll find you can't do it. 
And it's very simple because, and this is one of the reasons that podiatrists build sometimes a bit of heel height into their uh, their, their insoles, is because when your heel is elevated, you can't over pronate. So essentially, the great thing about it is you don't have to worry about over pronation when you're wearing a heel. However, that doesn't therefore mean that they're A, comfortable and B, necessarily good for you all the time, particularly if you're not wearing truly supportive ones. And that's why Varnik have their own range. Loads of great styles there. Um, I would recommend if you have very painful feet and you find Emma that you, you, you do suffer with, you know, with painful feet and sensitive feet, then I would say go for the lower heel heights. Now our lowest heel heights tend to be just over two inches and they go all the way up to um, three, three and a half inches on some of the higher high heels as well. So I would have a look for, I don't have any samples of that here, but maybe the rosy or the peony, um, which are fantastic. What I do have though, where is it? Near me somewhere. I'll come back to it. I might have to come, might have to come back to it. Is I do have a, a different, a different uh, heel that I'll show you a little bit later, which is a, a really good example of that. So hopefully that's answered your question. Let's move on. Fiona. Um, so, oh, so right. Now, if you want to, I can, I can keep going because obviously I'm, I'm, I'm spending a long time <laughs> chatting to you. So I can keep going. So if you want me to keep going, keep watching and I'll, and I'll do an extra, extra 10 minutes or so. Um, so, you know, do keep watching. If you, if you're really bored already, then switch off and never watch me again. And I apologize for ruining your Saturday morning. Um, okay. Great question here from Fiona McCann. She says, my mum suffers with bunions and really struggles to find comfortable shoes that fit properly. Do you have any specific styles that would accommodate bunions, please? Uh, Fiona, I'm sorry to hear that. Bunions are horrible. Um, the bad news for you is if your mum has them, more than likely you are going to get them as well because bunions are basically g genetical. They're, they're passed on. Um, it doesn't always mean you're going to get them, but you're more than likely. Um, I have... My mother-in-law... It sounds like one of those terrible jokes, doesn't it? As soon as you say, start a sentence with that. But she also has terrible bunions. And the style that I, rec that I buy for her regularly is this. Now, this is obviously one of our sandals. This is the Randy, uh, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And the reason I buy this one for her is because the positioning of the actual front strap here hides the actual jutting part of the bunion. And so it doesn't, and basically the thing is with this, it's really important. Some footwear, if the straps are in the wrong place, it goes around the bunion and, and it really almost waves a flag and says, look at my bunion feet, Ugh, you know. These are brilliant because what it actually does is it covers it and, and, and really, really beautifully and modestly, but in style. So this is a fully adjustable uh, leather style on our rest footbed, which is one of our heritage footbeds, loads and loads of cushioning there and comfort and that three zone technology that we talked about, that via motion technology. It's a really good style. So if she wants something for the summer, I go for this. Um, this was the, this is basically the kind of big posh sister of the Samoa, which you can also still get. Um, but I love the Randy and it's got this gorgeous perforations. Now you're going to see this a lot for our spring summer range. We've got a lot of perforations um, and it's basically because there's this, this, in a sense, the essence of Tulum, the kind of in the Yucatan Peninsula, and the kind of feeling of the kind of Mexican Riviera, all of that brought in. So uh, you've got a lot of these lovely perforations that um, are meant to illustrate not only the kind of leaves of the, of the trees of that area, but also that kind of dream catcher feel. Um, and this this really does shout that. I don't know if you can actually see, but there's silver underlaying the white there, so it really pops beautifully. So that's the one I'd say for bunions for um, for sandals. Do you know what, I I would say it, it really depends on what kind of style she wants. If she wants something which is gonna wear practical every day, I would have a look. I haven't got a copy of the Lindsay. The Lindsay's the shoe version of this, but I've got the Shauna. And um, the reason is it's got like a wide toe base, which is really, really comfortable. All of our, all of our shoes, of course, have the support. And essentially the big thing about bunions is that once you've got the arch support, it takes the pressure off the big toe. And that, that means that you don't get that horrible pushing back where the big toe starts to go that way and, and, and really you know, causes a lot of issues. And in fact, in a future Facebook Live, what I'll do is I'll do a different demonstration where it shows you that when you're wearing the Varnik, how it relieves the pressure on the big toe, which is really, really important. So I would go for these. The, these are great, mainly because they've got a zip as well. So fit-wise, they're really, really useful. Um, they're really easy to fit and they're, you know, they're kind of like a fit and forget, zip up and off you go. So they're really, really flexible style. That's Shauna, there's also a shoe style called the Lindsay 
or she might want to go for you know something more like this which is the rosa um, again really really practical very easy to slip on so um I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Right, that's Fiona's question. Um, well, my dad started to complain of foot pain whilst walking, but isn't sure whether to invest in shoes or insoles. What's best for him to do? That's from Ali White. Um, Ali, I'm sorry to hear about that. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Foot pain does eventually catch up with all of us. I always look at it as, um, how's the best way of saying it? Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, we abuse our feet for so long because we, we walk on these half fat services. We don't, we don't support our feet as, the, as nature intended. And uh, our bodies are brilliant at adjusting and coping. And it tends to take 10 to 15 years before our bodies start to go ah, and we start to necessarily feel it in other parts of our body as well as our feet. It's when our knees start to go, our hips start to go. And that's why people tend to, when they get into their thirties and forties and beyond, it starts to become more prevalent. Um, so it does eventually, and it's like kind of like water boiling. You know, when you you know when you boil some water, you you know you know the water's getting hotter, but the temperature's not bubbling. There's not any movement at all in the temperature, and it's only when it gets to a certain point that you start to see it bubble. But there's still heat building the whole time, and our bodies are a bit similar to that. You know, uh, eventually our bodies start to bubble, we begin to feel it and see it. The impact of not wearing supportive shoes. Um, so I'm sorry to hear your dad struggling. Um, really either you know we do do the insoles separately which is really useful again more props so we do like full length and we do three quarters uh, on the website they're really useful and essentially what's the difference well three quarters are designed for going into shoes where you can't remove the insert so if you've got like a nice posh pair of brogues um, or you've you know you basically got a shoe where you can't take the footbed out then this is great because it just slips on top um, and that, that's really, really useful. If you can remove the whole of the footbed, then these insoles, these, these inserts are, are, are the best one. They're the full length ones. And again, you, they're really easy to see all, all the details on the website as to what size you need to go for. And you can just see here, that's a full length one. So you need to remove the insert that's inside and then slip this in. However, every pair of Arnix you buy essentially has one of these either built in as part of the sandal or something that you can already remove in, in the shoe. So if I have a look here at one of the men's shoes that I love, and this is my favorite men's shoe, this is the Baldwin. I've got about four pairs of these, uh, two in the black. The black's great because it's got like, this cappuccino sole, which is off, you know, which again is, doesn't get as dirty as quickly. So if you're a lazy chap like me, it's really useful. Um, and essentially again, go inside here, pull it out, and there's your footbed. So my, my essence is yes, you can buy these and then put them into other shoes. Um, however, you can also buy a pair of our shoes and get that footbed that you can still use in the same way and put into other pairs of shoes. The other benefit as well is that our shoes are built around the footbed. They're built to house the footbed, which is why some people buy them and then put their own orthotics in if they've got really specific needs. Um, whereas some, some, some shoes are not built to, to have that extra bit of size or you know, um, height in. So you know, I'd probably say go for, a, go for a pair of shoes for your dad. Um, and I would recommend maybe a pair of the Baldwins because they're absolutely brilliant. They're really, really cool. It's like a soft Nubuck leather. They're really stylish to go for any occasion, dress up, dress down, really easy to use. Um, and then if around the house, because essentially if he's really struggling um, with foot pain, now he needs support around the house, go for a pair of my men's slippers as well. Now, these are really lovely. They've got an indoor outdoor sole, faux fur on the inside, that kind of classic men's, men's slipper. So hopefully that, that gives you a bit of guidance there. And if he wants um, maybe a, a flip-flop style, then the men's tide is very, very cool. That's a really cool style as well. In fact, my youngest daughter, she, this is her favorite. <laughs> the Jess, you saw her earlier. This is the one that she picked out. She, I know they're men's, but I like them. They're really nice and they look really comfortable. So, um, you know, they're, you know, again, if you've got feet big enough, ladies, go for a pair of men's tide as well, because they're really gorgeous. Okay, right, time check. Oh my word, I'm at 29 minutes past. So uh, uh, people are still watching, I think. So I I'm gonna go a little bit longer and see if I can get through some of these questions. Um, remember, if you do ask any questions live, you will be in with a chance to win one of these, which is uh, our shoe care kit from Vionic. And I mentioned before, but they're really useful because you've got leather cleaner in there, footbed cleaner, and also a rain and stain. And the rain and stain is brilliant because it basically re, re um, I say waterproof is too strong a word, but it makes your shoes water repellent. It makes the material water repellent, which is something that all of our boots, our suede boots are treated in the factory before we, before we ship them. But you can 
retouch up other shoes with these and respray maybe after a year to 18 months if you want to. Really nice giftable kit. So keep asking your questions. Okay. Um, let's have a look here. What have we got? So I have triple E extra wide feet and wonder if you have any styles for my fitting. That's from Anne Sargent. And thank you again for your question. Really, really appreciate that. Um, so Anne, we, we tend to have, generally we've got, we have two widths. We have a, a, what we call a, a medium and a wide. The majority of the shoes that we have uh, in the UK sit more on our wide uh, footing. We always have comments uh, underneath on the website to let you know which they are, or you can always ring up when you want to uh, buy from us. Um, that wide fitting tends to be on a, a generous D. However, what I'm gonna say to you is I know for a lot of my work, many ladies who have a double E and a triple E who wear some of our styles with great comfort. Um, and so it's just about picking picking your exact style. Um, one of the ones I know because I fitted them myself when I do um, the shoe events up and down the country in some of our great partner stores. Um, when I've done those in the past, I've, I've done a lot of fittings. And again, I'm gonna bring it back. This Shauna boot is, is ideal if you do have wider feet because A, it's got that, that width in the toe box, which is really important, but also because um, with the zip and the laces, you can really open this up. And once you've got your right width with the laces, then then, then literally just unzip and go. It, it's really good. And it's, it's a generous style. So I would say go for that. Um, I would also say tends to be anything on our, on our rest footbed is really generous um, on, on width because of the adjustability. So again, the Randy here with that hook and loop, you can really either tighten it up or you can really open it up to make it a lot wider. So hopefully that's good. And there's another great style I would look for if you, if, you know, if you have kind of wider feet, um, I would I would have a look at the amber on our website as well, which is got four different points of adjustability, slightly thinner straps and a nice centerpiece down the center. The amber would be a good choice for you as well um, if, with those kind of wider fitting feet. I hope that helps. Um, I really, really do. But do read the descriptions. And if you've got any particular questions, you can either get in touch with me directly um, or you can speak to any of our wonderful team who will be, be happy to help you as well. Okay, there's still people watching, so I can only guess that I'm going to take the fact that you're watching that you want me to continue for a bit. I promise it will only be for another 10 minutes, so not much longer. Oh, dear. Um, you see what my, my, uh, my beautiful girls have to put up with, with me gabbing on um, on a daily basis. So feel happy the fact that you're only having to cope with it for, you know, literally, what, 30, 40 minutes of your day, whereas they, they live with it 24-7. You know, lockdown for them has just been, you know, wow. Poor them. Okay. <laughs> so... Um, here we go, let's, put, let's see, uh, I guess we better for her. Okay. So we've got here, my daughter has trouble with her knee when she wears heels. I guess Varnik will be better for her. Could, could it be the support putting a strain on her knee? Could it be the support? Oh, could the support put more strain on her knee? Okay, so essentially, Pauline, I'm sorry to hear about your daughter um, and the fact that, you know, heels, I mean, you know what? She's not alone. Many people have trouble wearing heels. Uh, they're not designed for comfort. I think we all know that. We talked about that before, but they look so good, don't they? Um, and they make us feel great. And that little bit of extra height and the way it kind of just kind of straightens everything up. I mean, I've only ever worn heels for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, and, uh, and it made me feel like a million dollars. Um, but, uh, you know, you ladies sometimes get the opportunity to do that on a, on a regular basis. Um, so Vionic heels um, were, are gonna be essentially better than normal heels for her, purely because of the fact that they're shaped around your feet. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick look actually and see if I can see, because I did have a pair that I cunningly put with me. So just bear with me one second. I, um, I, there's preparation. There we go, I've got them, wait there. You can, you can hear me talk. They are here, right. So I just apologize. I, I don't have many heeled styles with me at the moment, but um, this is a wedge style as well. And basically what's essentially the purpose of, of showing you this is the fact that the, the difference with the Vionic. So with the Vionic, what we do with our heel styles is we still give you a heel cup because that's really, really important. We still give you arch support with that three zone comfort because it's really important because your feet aren't flat. They're still not flat when they get elevated, when you elevate the heel. And then we also provide something here, 
which is called a metatarsal raise. I don't want to go too much into the technology, but it's basically a really soft, comfortable piece that sits under the metatarsal. And that is the big pressure area, as you'll know from wearing heels, under the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot. They're the two big zones. So to have something there, which helps to um, support right under that metatarsal area, it really creates incredible comfort as well as great alignment. So my answer to you is yes, Varnik, Varnik heels are going to be better for her to wear the, the non-Varnik heels. The great thing is we've got a 30-day guarantee. I think most of you know this. Um, it's a worldwide guarantee wherever you buy Varnik from is that you get 30 days to try them and wear them. And I mean wear them out. So you know, don't think I've got to creep around my living room. I can't get them dirty or they won't take them back. No. You know, if you want to, wear them for two weeks to work. Properly make sure that they are right for you um, because we believe, we know that our, our return rates are so low because people love the comfort. They trust how it helps them, how it realigns them. Um, so essentially what I would say is, you know, you've got 30 days, she can properly try them and see, see if it makes a difference, see if it helps her or not, see how she feels wearing uh, th th those heels. Uh, and, and if it helps her, great. There is a chance that she might not be comfortable in any kind of heel, and that just may be an indication that she needs to wear, um, you know, kind of shoes that are, you know, that are, that are more kind of level like that. I don't I hate saying flat because we never wear, we never create flat shoes, but you know what I mean. Um, but give them a go. You've got 30 days, and it's a free return as well. Free return. So I know sometimes you get charged for returns, but we don't, which is great. Um, okay, let's go. Here we go. Um, I can only wear Varnix and would love to see uh, more fashionable sandals with higher heels. Any chance of that? So Christina O'Sullivan, thank you very much for your question. Um, I'm really great, glad to hear that you love Varnix. That's, that's amazing to hear. Um, and we are continuing to work really hard to create more fashionable, more fashion forward styles. I mean, obviously what's fashionable for one is not fashionable for another. And we do have a really broad range. Uh, have a look on the website. Um, we've got more stuff coming in and you know, more stuff happening all the time. And very excitingly, next season, uh, so autumn and winter, I've seen the biggest the biggest jump, I think, in, in the quality uh, and the styling that I've ever seen in my five years of, with, with the brand. I've seen a huge, huge um, step forward in, for me as a perception. It's so exciting. It really, really is. Some incredible um, fully waterproof boots coming through the boot range has gone bananas. It really, really has, it's incredible. Uh, and lots of uh, kind of prints still gonna be in, um, just you know, really, really beautiful styles coming through. So um, I would say, you know, bear with us. Thank you so much for the feedback. We will continue to do our best to create. I and mean, our designers go out, you know, they, go, they travel around the world in order to create uh, fashionable styles and we're continuing to, to do that. And of course, the more, the US at the moment tend to have a wider selection and the more the brand grows over here, so again, more things like this work and the more of you that spread the news about Varnik, the more we'll be able to pull over more and more of that choice because you, you will notice sometimes that they have more options over there. And that's purely because at the moment we're still growing and we're still saying, hey, look, we're here. Um, there's a very low awareness of us in the market and, and we, we want people to, to, to fall in love with Varnik because of the comfort and because of the style and really combining that science. Um, with you know with, with the with the fashion which is so so important to us okay um, I've nearly gone to 10 minutes so I'm gonna do one more question and then I'm going um, okay so uh, would you advise to vary so this is from Michelle Abbott via Instagram Michelle would you advise to vary heel heights during the day um, if you wear heels one day flats the next it's a really good question Michelle I, I would say generally that the heels, yes, it's, it's good. It's good foot health not to be wearing, not to be wearing heels day after day. Um, if you have to wear heels, then varying the heights will help because you're varying the amount of pressure that's going to sit on the ball of the foot. Um, and obviously, the higher the heel, the more pressure sits. It tends to be as soon as you start to elevate the heel, it's like a seventy percent on the ball of the foot and thirty percent on the back. But it does vary. So definitely, if you can, I, I really would say as well have a look at some of the, the flatter styles which is still incredibly fashionable incredibly style forward but don't elevate your heel and therefore hopefully will give you more comfort if you're if you're asking this because you're in discomfort then listen to your body 
listen to your body. Um, you know, we've, we, we've done our best. Our, our footbed for, for heels took us four years to design, um, but it's still an unnatural position for the human body to be in. <laughs> so, you know, we would always say that, yeah, you know, wear our heels, you know, in, in, enjoy them, but do vary that as you're suggesting there with, with some of our flatter styles where you've got that arch support and that three zone comfort which really helps to realign you and give, give back in a sense what nature intended and what civilization took away. Right, um, I hope that's answered your question, Michelle. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, can you reissue the Bobby? It was the best trainer ever, hashtag fact. <laughs> that's from Donna McCollum, McC McCulloch, sorry, via Instagram. Donna, um, I will pass that back to the US. Um, and, uh, and and see what they say. In fact, I was I was photographing the Bobby recently, so I I, I believe there may be there may be some stock of the Bobby popping up, because I, I was I was taking some photographs for the brand, and um, and there was there was a Bobby, a white Bobby with the gold lining that I was taking photos of. So keep watching on the website because I have a feeling that might turn up. I can't guarantee it, but it might do. Um, and I will pass that back. I agree. The Bobby was really really cool. It was like a three three Velcro strap. Um, trainer, very similar to this, which is the new honey, which is gorgeous, but three straps sitting um, out across there as well, which just looked really, really cool. It had the gold trim, metallic trim, it was great. Okay, thank you so much. Really appreciate your questions. Um, I do hope that uh, those of you that are getting a, 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 one of these delivered to you, that you love it. If you've got any questions about that, remember there is a video on the website um, and uh, on, on this Facebook page telling you how to use it or you can just get in contact with me uh, for any more details thank you so much for questions thank you so much for watching um, hopefully this is going to be the first of several of these Varnick TV um, uh, episodes and I want to kind of continue ask, answering your questions whatever they be uh, keep safe keep well keep supported thank you so much for watching and uh, I look forward to chatting to you again very very soon uh, have a wonderful Saturday and a wonderful weekend and from me Keith and from my my daughters and fur family here in Whitstable uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.